also a very special fundraiser going on today in memory of a race car driver, Brian Clausen. Clausen died in a racing accident two years ago, but his legacy continues to help and save others. Our Mary Mills is in Noblesville this morning to tell us about the Strut to Save Lives dog walk going on today. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Alyssa. Yes, we're at Dillon Park, and this is a walk involving, yes, people and dogs. They're expecting mm. about 200 people and I think as many dogs. And um, this is a fundraiser for the Indiana Donor Network, and it's in memory of race car driver Brian Clausen, who, as you said, died in a racing accident nearly two years ago. Joining me now, two very special people. This is Dan Alexander from Nebraska, one of five people who received one of um, Brian's organs. And this is um, his sister, Taylor McLean, who actually now works with the Organ Donor Network. Great to have you both here, and just this Great is this here. is special and important for both of you. Absolutely. Tell me about that, Dan. Just for you being here, and oh, just to be alive. <laughs> I and be so thankful to uh, to Brian for uh, for the donation he made, and he made that decision a long time ago, and uh, it's kind of his last act of love for mankind. Uh, so I'm very appreciative of that, and, and I'll tell everybody I can. And what's awesome, too, is not it's not often that you get to meet the family, the recipient gets to meet the family. That's uh, that's very rare, and that's been probably the, the second biggest blessing that I've had is uh, uh, getting to meet and know the family. Uh, I'm gonna, a great family. And this is very, very important for you as well, Taylor, on, on several levels. I mean, getting to meet Dan, but also the work you're now doing. Yeah, it really is. You know, when we were um, in the hospital with Brian, there wasn't much hope for our family. And, and you know, in that dark time, it was it was something that we could hold on to. Um, I remember, you know, as we were saying goodbye to him, we were thinking about those five families that he was helping. And, and for us to just have that little piece of hope to hold on to in our darkest moment was really healing for our family. And it kept us going the last two years and continues to do so. Because you're continuing to help others in need. Yeah, we are. And we've gotten to meet a lot of awesome people who are either recipients, other donor families. And, you know, it's, it's a club nobody wants to be a part of. But to have people that, you know, are have been through your situation and, and kind of relate to you is, is really um, amazing. Thank you both. And again, uh, the Strut to Live uh, takes place at 11 o'clock this morning. Again, about 200 people. Already they've raised more than $18,000 toward the cause. And uh, we'll be putting a story together for later tonight. Alyssa? Mary, amazing. Thank you so much for sharing all those different sides of this story. Tom.